This is coming to you from John Wayne's 26 Bar Ranch in Eager, Arizona. States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, we're back, and as you can see, we have a guest today, and I think you probably have seen this face someplace before. Uh, it's uh, Gabby Hayes. Well, it is Gabby Hayes. It's Gabby Hayes Jr. And he does look somewhat like his father. And of course, Gabby has uh, done a lot of movie work in his own right. Have you done anything lately, Gabby? No, not lately. But I am uh, at the end of this month. At the end of this month. Well, that's good. What movie or commercial? Yes, uh, TV movie. TV movie. Well, that's good. Uh, Gabby's uh, going to help me uh, cook up some special food today. Uh, this happens to be the. Uh, uh, Cinco de Mayo uh, weekend, and of course that's a pretty important uh, uh, holiday uh, here in the Southwest yeah, because uh, that you know that's the uh, Mexican, independence. Yeah, Mexican independence. Yeah. And they uh, um, really go for that here in the Southwest. So today, what we're going to do is cook you up Mexican food, mm. border Mexican oh. food, and what we're going to cook oh. up is enchiladas and guacamole. Oh wow! And uh, I think that. Uh, Everybody will get kind of a kick out of seeing what kind of spices we're going to be using and what type of uh, chilies we're going to be using. Let's see, you got a bunch of chilies. Yeah, here. I do. Here, I was going to what explain. Do they call those? Well, I was going to explain a little bit about these different chilies to uh, the audience out there. Now, this happens to be an Anaheim chili here. Anaheim. Anaheim. That comes from Anaheim, California, originally. Of course, most of them all came from Mexico or New Mexico at one time. But these are called Anaheim. They were uh, introduced into. Uh, um, to Southern California. Um, oh, I think it was the latter part of the last century. And these are a mild chili. And uh, these are an Ortega. Now, old man Ortega introduced these into Southern California. Ortega, the, the chili salsa? And same, yeah. same, uh, uh, same name, yes. Yeah, that right? that's, that's correct. Now, let's go into some of these other chilies here before we start making the Mexican food. Uh, here we have the Guero, or blonde chili. Now, this is kind of a medium chili. And uh, would be use that probably in our salsas and uh, that type of thing. Yeah. Now we get over here to um, let's get over here to the really the hot ones. Look at those. That's the one to get your attention. That'll get your attention. These are jalapeno peppers, <laughs> and uh, of course we use these more for a uh, oh you know spicing up our salsas and uh, when we want to make something hot. This is what we use here, and we these are the jalapenos. Now we have another one here. These are the cayennes. These are the cayennes, and these are the kind of chili peppers that, uh, the long cayennes they call them, and they use these uh, all making up some of the red hot spices, you know, uh, um, some of the ones you get in the little bottles, you know, the little hot spices, uh, different names for them, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a very hot chili. Now this one is the same as this one. They're mild then. That's correct, but it's the same chili. It's oh, just that's a, dry. That's oh, correct. Okay. These are dried chilies, and these, of course, are the raw chilies that have just come off of the vine. Uh -huh. Now, what we're... Caramba, somebody stole my caballo. So I loaded him from some place. John Wayne was not always a superstar. He got his start in films in the late 20s and early 30s in B-Western movies. 
John Wayne would remain in B Westerns for many years. In fact, they even tried to make him a singing cowboy. But he hated that. So, what he did is he discovered a man to be a singing cowboy. Gene Autry. So Gene Autry was to be the singing cowboy. Why, if anything happened to you, I'd... Why, John... Would you care? These B movies went on for many years. Then in the late 1930s, the famous producer-director John Ford asked John Wayne to play the part of the Ringo Kid in the classic Western Stagecoach. This would make John Wayne a star. And then, as we all know, he went on to be the biggest superstar of all time. Coming in on the home stretch here, and we're going to have to hurry or we're not going to make it today. Today, we're going to end up with making some guacamole. So this, of course, is an avocado. They're raised in two major places in the United States. One is Florida, one is California. Uh, they don't use many of them, make, they don't raise many of them here in the Southwest. What we're going to do is use the moquejete. I was wondering what the moquejete. The and we're going to make the... Um, uh, guacamole in the mojajete. First of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this into pieces like this, and then I'm going to take the seed out like that. How you like that, huh? Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll cut this into like that. And uh, let's see if I can move this out of the way for the time being. I'm going to cut these like that. They also used to uh, use those to grind corn in, too, didn't they? Uh, it, that's the bigger, the bigger one is used for the corn. Yeah. Um, these are used for spices more than anything oh, else. And uh, the spices and sauces like we have here. Uh -huh. Now, let me get this cut like that, and then I'm going to try to peel these up. Sure, let's, let's have you get in on the act here. And what we want to do is just put them in there. Now, see how easy those peel? Hey, that's easier. You stick your thumb in there and just peel those right off. Just like that. Well, I'm doing this like I knew what I'm doing. That's right. You do know what you're doing, <laughs> don't you? No? <laughs> okay, now we've just about got it all in there. There, there's a piece there. Let's get rid of this. Now I'm gonna have to have um I'm gonna have to have the um some tomatoes over there too. I've got some tomatoes in there someplace. Don't they grow green ones or something like that? They too? sure do. They the Mexicans grow a green tomato and it's uh it's a little bitter compared to these. I couldn't find those today, so we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to chop these up real quick and, and put these in there. What do you need? Something to... Oh, you're going to lick your fingers here. <laughs> there we go. Here. Just like downtown. Yeah, all right. There you go. And I'm going to chop these up. I think I'll only use one. Looks like I'm only going to need one here. Just chop these up into big pieces, and then I'm going to put them into the mojete, and we're going to blend it all together. And I'm going to need some of those spices again. So if you can kind of get those spices together. No, don't put them right here in front. Let's put them right there. And let me start getting this smashed up. Now what we're going to do, and my measuring spoon. You got that down there someplace? Yeah, right here. Spot that? Okay, what we're going to do is I'm going to mash this up in the mojete, like this. And I'm going to reach over here and put in the tomato, like that. I'm only going to use the one. I think uh, the two would be too many. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to need just a little bit of onion. I need a tablespoon of onion. You got a tablespoon of onion right there? I'll get it right quick. There's the tablespoon right there. Why don't you put that in there for me? How's that? That'll do fine. And I'm going to need one half teaspoon of uh, Camino. That is right there. And that's this little? Yeah, that's it. And let's see, I think we've got just about everything in here except the Camino. No. That's it. Put it in there. That's good. Mix that up like that. All right, we've got that. Now this is not hard. See how easy this is to do? Yeah. There's nothing to that. Now we've got this just about done up here now. I'll tell you what we're going to do is we're going to finish up the enchiladas. Give me one of those enchiladas down there. See if we can do this before we run out of time. And I'm going to dip up a little bit of sauce here and put it onto the enchilada, like this. 
And what we're going to do is uh, put the cheese on. Just a second, let me get a little more sauce here. We'll decorate the plate up. And then we're going to come back. Why don't you put that on there? We're going to put this in the oven. We're going to get this all prepared here. We're going to come back here in about, oh, about a minute or so. And then you and I are going to try to eat some of this. Uh -huh. You ready to go? I'm ready. All right, don't go away. We'll be right back. Which one's got the meat in? I don't know. You're going to have to While we're them. waiting, how about a great song from Kenny Canada, Blue Gray Misty Mountains. Then how about the music from the western, The Gunfighters. The gunfighters held the land in fear. No respect for the law, and with their lightning draw, the gunfighters may spread far and near. Gunfighters.
but try to gun them down But the gunfighter's hand was prepared They survived by their speed Till he first became their creed The gunfighter's coat was holster spare Never knowing what lady luck would deal them next Taking each day as it comes Facing death with a gun Not knowing that their luck would soon run out Sure, that last segment, you know, we were really, <laughs> really moving there trying to get this thing done. <laughs> it kind of hurt there a little bit, yeah. But it looks pretty good. I, oh, you know, we've great. got we've got a good-looking sauce here. Oh, um, wow. What we have now, of course, is the guacamole up here, and uh, that was kind of a quickie guacamole. You know, we did that in less than four minutes. Yeah, I know. Put that guacamole together. Tastes good too. And uh, of course, our enchiladas here. Now, I don't know which one has the meat in it. We'll fake it. But one of them has <laughs> meat, and the other one doesn't. Now. Um, the, normally we would serve something like a, uh, possibly a Spanish rice or uh, refried beans refried are always beans, good, yeah. you know. Uh, why don't you give a little taste there and see Yeah, I think I'll do that. And uh, here, I think you'll uh, thoroughly enjoy this dish. Give it a try yet or a little bit well, stringy it's, there, huh? Yeah, it's kind of stringy. No stringy? I want to get a little of mm. it. All right. Hmm, not bad. Get your hands out of that and eat that. Mm. Yeah, you're going to get it in your beard and everything else there. <laughs> Mmm, mm, tastes pretty good. I have one more bite of this here. You say you're going to be in a, you got, got a movie coming up pretty quick? Mm-hmm. Where, where are you going to shoot that? Tucson. Old Tucson? Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll be fun. You all have a great time down there. And do uh, you know the name of it yet? The Devil Made a Little Town. The who? The Devil Made a Little Town. Oh, I see, all right. And I think you told me it was going to be a comedy or something, mm -hmm. didn't you? Comedy was Carol Burnett, Tim Conway, and... and uh, Darn not. Well, that's, that sounds like fun. Why don't you keep me, uh, you know, up to date on it? So, what's your will, Bill? Yeah, maybe I'll come down there and watch you shoot a little well, bit. Well, I might or just uh, get you on it. No, that'd be good. <laughs> Folks, we want you to give, uh, you know, give this uh, enchilada sauce a try. And uh, all of you uh, people of Mexican extraction, uh, have a great Cinco de Mayo. Till then, adios. Duke said, drop on by the ranch. We'll have a bowl of chili and some barbecue.
This was brought to you from John Wayne's 26 Bar Ranch in Eager, Arizona.